in general, we're children of the 20th century, and that means that we're drawn to originality. Originality was always the primary draw. It was always the thing that made you excited to see something different, see something that you hadn't seen before. And if you think of like Star Wars and Raiders and Alien and Terminator, and they have the fact that they're original material written for the movies, written to be a movie. We grew up sort of in that culture where we're, we're, we're attracted to things that haven't been told before or seen before. Kind of the beginning where we're like, hey, how about this modern Cinderella who's life is full of drudgery and a crazy family and she goes off into space and goes on this crazy Wizard of Oz odyssey to learn things about herself. That was sort of uh, the beginning of Jupiter and I said, what if there are all these pe people and I, I recognize myself as one of them who at times in their lives are very unhappy with their lives and they go on journeys or they go in search of what they want or what they need and often what they find is they sort of come back to their original sense of home and they, and they need the journey to sort of help bring a certain perspective to that relationship. And then we thought it was interesting to resonate the idea of this, this life. So Jupiter lives as this um, sort of house cleaner imagining for herself a different life. At the same time then, she's a recurrence of this other person who was the empress and super powerful, the sovereign, and had wealth beyond imagining. And yet they're sort of both in the same place where they're unhappy. And so this idea came up where we were like, every human society is a pyramid and some lives matter more than others. You're raised in this class of people that have been taught that it's okay to exploit all these other people, that because ultimately your life is more important than theirs. I'm feeling the idea of time as a precious commodity, I mean, in my everyday life. It's a, it's, it's a very profound idea. Once we had that, we needed to sort of twist them up because that wasn't evil enough. And we were like, well, that's kind of an interesting subject. What if you could basically own youth and own and control youth? And you know, what would be the cost of that? This color that comes in from that kind of low bouncing light. And when the city is this sort of purpley sky and the, s the buildings are still glowing from the city lights, we think it's one of the most romantic and beautiful images of a city we've ever seen. And we had this idea, we took John Toll up to the top of Willis Tower and we showed him, you know, it, it lasts only about five minutes before the sun breaks. And we watched it and it was like glorious and beautiful and full of purple and indigo and these glowing golds and shimmering, you know, the L train looks amazing. And he's like, yeah, wow, looks great, amazing. What do you want to shoot here? Like an establishing shot of a kiss scene, a romance, thick moment? What, what, we got like about six minutes. And we said, we want to shoot the chase. <laughs> we wanted it to be real, so we were flying real stunt people and we took Mila and Channing up there and we shot with real live humans because we think there's just something that you react to as an audience when you see a live human sort of in the jeopardy of hanging from a helicopter that you will never ever achieve with CG. There's a <laughs> physics to the human body that we don't feel like you can achieve. Like this chasing is made by the fact that we have two people hanging by this helicopter. You can feel the weight and the way their bodies react and break apart and you know catch. In the history of transportation, <laughs> that every single era or epoch, whether you're talking about you know, liveries or chariots or carriages or boats or cars or planes or trains, they're always 
a level of exquisitely designed ones, especially the rich people. I mean, rich people always travel in amazing aesthetic style. And so because this is an exploration of class, uh, we were also curious about sp the spaceships for the super rich. What do they look like?